All right, now, control shift brought up this other thing, this select rectangle. And this select rectangle is really, really, really important because it is this whole new part of your brush. When you have control shift pressed, you have a whole different set of brush options. Let me show that to you. I'm going to press control and shift, and now look at that. That's pretty cool. There's a whole new set. They're always there. But they're only activated when you press control shift. So what you do is you decide which one is your default. It's a lot like when you press shift. Remember shift equals the smooth brush. It doesn't have to, you can reassign it. But it's such a common part of our language. Shift equals smooth. Control plus shift equals some modifier brush. It equals some tool, special tool. Something that uses an interface item like a uh, circle, like a rectangle, like a lasso, like a line, right? So basically this is saying to ZBrush, if I press control shift, okay, lock the model down, so the model doesn't move, and then draw uh, X interface item. And X interface item equals rectangle, curve, circle, or lasso. And then perform algorithm. And the algorithm is, are you clipping? Are you simply selecting it or are you slicing it? That's it. So those are the options that you have. So let's take a look at those guys and make sure we're clear on them. Control shift. The model is locked. I'm not rotating the model. If I let go of control shift, anytime I click outside of the model, it rotates. And I'm telling you this because, and I'm emphasizing this, is because this is what the programmer had to figure out. Because they, he wanted you to be able to use some interface item, drag stuff out, and he's going, how do I do that when, like an idiot, I made it, anytime they clicked off the model, they were rotating it. <laughs> so now... It's not like, say, you know, Maya, where you've got these like special keys, or at least you used to have these special keys for rotating. You could, you could go into a tool mode. Well, when you press Control Shift, you go into a tool mode. So Control Shift, I'm in a tool mode. The default is select rectangle. I drag it out, and there you go. Symmetry is on, so that rec rectangle is drawn out by both sides, even though it only showed one. So that's why I got that stuff. Okay. Now, this is going to be really important for you to get comfortable with, uh, and so I'm going to introduce it now, but I am going to have to introduce it to you again next week. But control shift and click you ha you're expected to do something very important. So please, if you're, if, um, if you're not looking directly at my screen, take two seconds and watch or pay attention to what I say next. Because I, I know this sounds basic, but if you're ever explaining this to newbies, um, you have to know, you have to, you have to listen to this one thing. Okay. The order, the protocol, let's call it protocol for uh, tool mode. You press control plus shift. You click on the canvas. And then you release control plus shift. Okay, this is really important. You'll still, once you've clicked on the canvas, it goes into tool mode. 
when you release control shift you're still in con you're still in tool mode you're still drawing something out but the reason why i'm telling you to release control shift is because pixel logic is now going to ask you to do something different you're in tool mode and now you have modifiers you can press alt you can press space and if you're holding control and shift down and then you press alt and or you press space your uh, pinky and your ring finger are going to hate you it hurts after a while especially if well I can't tell you that I wish I could tell you but I can't tell you but trust me you're going to want to develop the habit this way press control shift click on the canvas and release control plus shift because you're going to need to do alt you're going to need to do space or you're going to need to do something else X and that X when you know what it is is going to be important so this protocol control shift drag okay release control shift free your hand wiggle your fingers relax them a little bit let the tension go and then press alt right release alt press alt so what is that gonna do it's gonna hide it's alt alts always the inverse so it hides control Z to undo control shift release shift wiggle the hand press the spacebar and you can move this guy around. If you develop that habit, life is going to be easier. If you don't, your finger is going to really start to hurt and you're going to be limited in what you can do fast. If you've seen uh, Paul Gabry just kind of fly through all of this control shift stuff and then do this and half a dozen different things, it's because he's developed the habit. Okay. So let me check my notes. You can group individual sections. I can just say group visible. But what I really want to show you now is this visibility thing. And this is something we'll come back to in hard surface. We're going to really come back to this in hard surface. But the visibility tab allows you to hide and show things. But really what I want to show you is grow all or just grow. So grow all will grow to the entire shell of the model of all these parts. So it didn't select the legs because they weren't part of this. Or grow or shrink. Now for uh, organic stuff like we're doing right now, minimally important. For mech stuff, for hard surface stuff, it's everything because polygroups are core to hard surface sculpting and to all the tools that are involved with hard surface sculpting. I mean, if you're familiar with this already, panel loops is basically built on groups. So polygroups and visibility become really important to get comfortable with. But for what we're going to do now, which is fix this sculpt, it's not important. So any questions about that stuff before I move to the next chapter of this discussion? Shout out yes or no. All right. Now I got to fix the sculpt, so let me check my grid. Uh, nah, drop the insertion of the deltoid. Let's pull the neck. He doesn't need that much of a neck. It's like a ballerina. Uh, I don't want to affect the arm. So there's two ways to do this. One I just showed you. You can control shift click and do this. But you know, you don't get to see it very well, right? So I'd say that there's three ways. You can control shift click. You can combine control shift with masking, which means now that 
I'm just looking at the pelvis, I can control click to mask all, control shift click to show everything, control click to invert. And then I can do that. For the newbies out there, I, uh, let's say C plus S. Let me make it simpler. C plus S plus click to show only. Control, or sorry, not even, yeah, it's control plus click to mask visible. Control plus S plus click outside to show all. And then control plus click outside to inverse mask. complicated set of things to write out but it's like less than a second to do. It's really complicated to write out. Imagine writing manuals. I remember writing um, the manual for ZBrush 3 or when, I, when I, we made the wiki uh, having to write these things out. It takes so long to explain but it's so fast to do and it takes a little while to get into your head. So those are all options. And let me show you the third option. If you go into brush and you come down to auto masking, there is a slider, mask by poly group. Once that is on, it will work for all brushes. So you don't want to be using that and then be like, well, why, why is the rib cage not getting affected? What it does is it means that Whatever that polygroup is for the first point I click, I'm only affecting that polygroup. So he's got no butt, but we're going to get serious about it. We're going to drop that butt. And this is a pretty nice way to just get in and, and work pieces individually. It's not pretty nice. I mean, it's kind of essential. So I can work that arm or the leg without worrying about the um, the hand in the way. I can hide that hand. Control shift click. A lot of times to build mass I just run back and forth with my cursor. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let me check the questions here. Okay, let me turn floor off because that really slows the broadcast down. And even polyframe kind of slows things down.